and counsel. My name is Gil Rasmussen, and I live at 22912 Pavla Court in Wildemar. A Gary Starbucks doesn't ask me for a lien on my house to buy a cup of coffee. I am the publisher of Wildemar Magazine, and I am speaking on behalf of my nearly 50,000 curious readers. Not surprisingly, I am opposed to the approval of the ballot measure linking a $5 million Melarus uh, community Facilities District to the $28 per, per year parcel tax assessment. While I have always been and continue to be in support of a replacement tax for the maintenance of Wildemar's Parks, the expansion of the need for a replacement tax into a confusing and complex Melaru scheme will result in the electoral failure on June 7, 2011, in my opinion. Let's take a look at the history of park assessment elections in Wildemar. As you may not know, I was a member of the Community Council of the Ortega Trails Parks and Recreation District uh, back in the 1990s, whose task was to evaluate the minimal financial needs of the park district in order to maintain its survival and to make a recommendation to the district board of directors. Our final recommendation of a $25 per year assessment was accepted and the matter went to the vote of the people. Unfortunately, the assessment, which required a 66 and two-third percent majority was defeated by 80% to 20%. As a result, the park district was closed. Later, an attempt to reopen Wildemar's parks resulted in a park maintenance ass assessment whose vote only required a 50% plus one majority. As a result of a lot of effort by a number of people, the assessment passed, but only by a 55 to 45% majority. That was the city's best day when it comes to vote on parks. Unfortunately, Riverside County had relied upon a report from Webb & Associates, which report eventually became the re focus of the successful appeal to the Fourth Court of Appeals, which reversed an earlier verdict in favor of the county. For some reason, this county, this council has again relied upon the same damaged goods and is going down a path that will result in another electoral failure or if the bond measure attains a 66 to 2 percent yes vote, additional litigation for the inequitable senior exemption. Now is the time to stop the madness and to step back from failure, the brink of failure, and consider the impacts of going forward. The City Council has caused the City of, Com City of Wildemar to spend nearly $100,000 fighting the medical marijuana collective issue with more expensive litigation to come. In addition, this Council has incurred an additional $42,000 defending and eventually surrendering to litigation resulting uh, from their approval of the Robles po project. This evening's agenda packet contains a warrant list item in which payment of $16,000 is being made to Webb & Associates for services rendered and bringing about this unfortunate metal roof bond recommendation. The cost of an election in June 2011 will be approximately $35,000. Rarely has a small community witnessed such losses in so short a time period. Thank you. Thank you.